What's up guys? Today we're going to be making baked Oreo donuts. First up, you need melted butter, one egg and milk. Whisk these together. Then pour plain flour, granulated sugar, baking powder and salt into a sieve and sift it into the mix, stirring until just combined. Grab your crushed Oreos and stir these into the mix. Then spoon the mix into your donut mold and bake for 8 to 10 minutes. For the icing, add icing sugar, vanilla and milk to a bowl and stir until just combined. Dip the cooled donuts into the icing, making sure they're fully covered. Give them a sprinkling of Oreo crumb and that's it. Enjoy! I'm going to show you guys how to make mini churros with Nutella. First, I'm going to start off by melting 1 4th cup of butter, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, and a half teaspoon of salt. Next, add 1 cup of water. Mix until you get a slight simmer. Next, add in 1 cup of all-purpose flour and give it a mix until you get a nice dough that resembles Play-Doh. Remove from heat for 30 minutes, then add 1 teaspoon of vanilla. Add in 3 eggs one at a time until you get a nice melty dough like this. Next, for our cinnamon sugar mixture, it's 1 3rd cup of sugar to 1 tablespoon of cinnamon. Next, cut Cut mini churros just to your liking of size and cook those until a nice golden brown. Now that I have a nice golden brown color, I'm taking them out and I'm putting them onto a paper towel and blotting the excess oil. I'm mixing them around in my cinnamon sugar mixture and dipping them in my Nutella and we're all done. I'm making double chocolate fudge brownies and I'm melting down one cup of butter along with two and a fourth cup of white sugar. Once it melts, take off the heat, adding one and a fourth cup of Dutch cocoa powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one tablespoon of vanilla. Four eggs cracked in one at a time. It should look like this. Now add in one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour. I'm adding a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Mixing it together and putting it into my grease pan at 350 degrees for one hour. Next I'm cutting and here you go, some double chocolate brownies. You can make these sugar cookies with just three ingredients, or four if you count sprinkles. First add one third of a cup of granulated sugar to a large bowl, then add one stick plus two tablespoons of softened butter. Use an electric mixer to cream the butter and sugar together until fluffy and smooth. You can also use a spatula or a whisk if you don't have an electric mixer. Now all you need to do is add one cup of all-purpose flour and mix again until combined. The texture will be slightly crumbly, but that's okay. Use your hands to form and roll 1 inch balls of dough, then place them on a lined cookie sheet. Pat the dough down to form discs, then you can add any kind of sprinkles you like, or just leave them bare. Bake at 325 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. These aren't exactly like classic sugar cookies, but they'll satisfy your sweet tooth in a pinch. One of the easiest and quickest Indian sweet dishes you can make. Go ahead and take two and a half cups of milk powder, three fourth cups sugar, and one cup milk. Go ahead and mix this nicely. Make sure there are no lumps. It should be a running consistency. We're going to go ahead and heat this up. Go ahead and add in one fourth cup of desi ghee. Mix, mix, mix. Scrape the sides. Do not stop mixing. After five minutes, you'll see the mixture start to leave the sides of the pan like so. I went ahead and added some toasted roasted coconut. My family decided last minute they wanted coconut barfi. Now it becomes a dough-like consistency after about 10 minutes. Switch off the gas and go ahead and put it in a baking pan or I had this glass Tupperware that was perfect size. Garnish with pistachios, almonds, walnuts, whichever nuts you prefer. Pat the nuts in and cool this completely and then put it in the fridge. Cut it into however shapes you like and enjoy. Today we're making strawberry cheesecake chimichangas. For the cheesecake filling, mix one 8 ounce block of cream cheese, one cup of sour cream, a tablespoon of vanilla, and a third of a cup of sugar. Mix until it's nice and creamy, then add two cups of diced strawberries. Mix those in until they're well combined with the cream cheese. Heat up six to seven eight inch flour tortillas. Add a couple spoonfuls right in the middle and fold it up like a burrito. With the amount of ingredients we used, we made a total of seven chimichangas. In a separate bowl, mix a third of a cup of sugar with one tablespoon of cinnamon. Heat up one cup of vegetable oil over medium heat. Lightly fry your chimichangas for about 30 seconds on each side or until they're nice and golden brown on all sides. Place them on a plate line with clean paper towels to soak up some of the excess oil. Roll them in the sugar and the cinnamon mixture. Enjoy with fresh diced strawberries and you can also top it off with whipped cream or a side of ice cream. And enjoy! Ever wondered how croissants are made? Keep watching to find out. In a bowl, you mix together yeast, water, and flour. Then you mix it together and knead for a few minutes until you form a nice ball. 
Then you let the dough rise for a few hours, which gives you time to make the butter block, basically a giant square of butter. At this step, it's really important that the butter block is perfectly square. Then you roll the dough out into a square and place the butter in the middle, folding the dough over and sealing it to make one dough. Then you roll the dough out and fold it like a letter, and repeat this process two more times. After the third time you fold it up, you roll the dough into a big rectangle. You make even triangles and roll each triangle up into a croissant. After letting the croissants rise for three hours, you brush each with a coating of egg wash, and you bake for about 20 minutes. And at the end of this process, you have perfect croissants. I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite delectable dessert ever. First, you're gonna wash your strawberries and you're gonna slice them. You can use any other type of berry or even better banana. Now I'm gonna sweeten them with a little bit of stevia. You can use honey or regular sugar. Next up, I'm gonna to toast some almonds in a pan. Once you can start smelling the almonds, you wanna add some maple syrup and a little bit of sea salt. I transfer them to a cutting board, wait for them to cool off, and I start chopping them with a knife. Please wait until it's completely cooled. No burning our fingies. And for the star ingredient, I do not eat dairy. You guys know that it's super bad for your skin, so I use coconut cream. You're gonna scoop out the thick part of the coconut cream, add it to a bowl, add some vanilla extract and sweetener of your choice. I use stevia again. I whipped it and then I assemble it. Strawberries, almonds, and then the cream. How freaking quick was that, you guys? Now you've got dessert ready for the entire week, and my family literally devoured this in minutes. Frozen peanut butter banana bites are one of my favorite healthy snacks to keep in the freezer, and they're so easy to make. Just slice up a banana and add a little almond or peanut butter between two slices. You're basically making banana sandwiches. Once you've used all the slices, you can put them on a parchment lined baking sheet and pop them in the freezer for an hour. Then melt chocolate chips with coconut oil and dip each banana bite into the chocolate. I like dipping them halfway and sometimes I'll even sprinkle on a little sea salt. Once coated, just pop them back in the freezer and keep them on hand for healthy snacking. Hi friends, let's make some super easy flan. In a pan on low heat, add one cup of sugar. Keep moving the sugar around. It'll start to stick together, but it's okay. Once it's all melted and caramelized, remove from heat. Pour it into a baking pan. Spread it all around the pan. Now in a blender, add one can of evaporated milk, one can of lechera, or sweetened condensed milk, four eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Blend well, pour it over the same pan, place it in a bigger pan, cover with foil paper, fill the large pan with hot water, and bake on 350 degrees for one hour. Make sure it's well cooked, let it cool down and refrigerate for four hours. After four hours, it's already cooled, flip it over, and look at that. You can decorate this with fruit, Slice it, serve it, and yum, 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 enjoy.